last coal mine closed in Cape Breton. It was in December of 2001. And how dark a day that was. People felt like uh, the bottom had dropped out of their lives and out of their economy. And the way we lived, our, our identity was shattered because we were people who mined coal and made steel. Miner's life is like a sailor's Board a ship to cross the waves Every day his life's in danger Still he ventures being brave Watch the rocks, they're falling daily Careless miners always fail I was born in the island In entirety at my birth I Economic development is certainly our top priority. But a close second is the experience and the lifestyle that, that Cape Breton can offer. Young people don't want to just work here and have a good job. They want to live here, grow here, develop here, raise families here. Um, they want to meet up with friends on a Friday night. They want to have a place to, to celebrate their good times and, and you know walk their dogs. And if we can't sustain that, then that's when they're going to go elsewhere. As we grew, those industries up and die. The majority of my friends who um, I grew up with here now don't live here anymore. They're in Halifax, the west. We have the tar ponds here. This community down here is the north end. And this community down here is known as Whitney Pier. Prior to the uh, cleanup project being started, these contaminants had actually started migrating out into the Sydney Harbour until we had built a barrier dam right along here to stop that. This is the place where the co-op movement was founded nearly a century ago, uh, where people decided to use what they have to achieve what they don't have. We're starting to remember that part of our past now, and I, I see it when government agencies, funding agencies, First Nations, municipalities, private sector companies get together around one table at the project I work with and talk not about their differences, but how to get things done. The couple of hundred people that were there were asked to write what their dream for the future or their life was. Less than 2% had anything to do with a material item. Um, all of them seemed to be prosperous wishes for the future. Here we are now with this open hearth park uh, where people have a new place to meet. And, and for me, it uh, represents a, a renaissance in Cape Breton. It's not just a cleaned up environmental mess. This is a, a symbol of who we are as Cape Bretoners. We need some sort of industry here that's gonna be sustainable for us, but we can't rely on it like we had in the past. We need to embrace the spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit of small business, the spirit of community. We don't know what's going to work, and I think that that challenge turns itself into an opportunity. We're not trying to retain everybody. We're not trying to say, no, don't move away. We want people to, to travel and move and, you know, ex be exposed to a whole array, array of different things. But at the end of the day, we want those people to, if they want to, come back and share that expertise with us and, and contribute. Mm -hmm.